Okay, we just took a look at how the poppet valves direct the main air valve. So we'll take a look at the main air valve now. So remember, the red is the high pressure air. So we got the air coming in, comes up through here, and this valve now, as you can see, it shuffles back and forth. So we'll stop that in one of the positions here. So it's held at that point. Now, the red, high pressure air is coming in. It's pressurizing this whole chamber. And it just kind of finds whatever hole it can to come out of, which happens to be there, which is directing air up through the top, over, and down into the top of the motor. It's going to push that piston down. As the piston goes down, the blue, low pressure air below there, is getting directed back out through, through this port, and that's going to direct it out to the exhaust port. The valve's going to shift again. As it hits there, it moves it down, and the air is going to just travel back and forth through those ports. So that's how the main air valve drives. Now the other thing we have on this motor that's different, we have two series. We have one with and we have one without the linear sensor. So you can see the shaft running through here, that's the linear sensor. It's mounted on the top of the motor, that's what the electrical mechanism is up here. The shaft comes down, there's a magnet on here. This magnet and the sensor read each other to determine where it is, where it's positioned. So with that we can take the inf input and analyze that information and uh, see how fast it's going, see how many strokes it's taking, different pieces like that. So linear sensor gives us a lot of advantages on this motor. Again, you can get it with or without the sensor.